Hey everybody, welcome back to Starfire Gaming. I am Sir Joseph and this is Marvel's Midnight Suns. Uh, we are about to um, talk to the Scarlet Witch. Which I'm guessing means we're going to do the whole resurrect Agatha thing. Time for Agatha's ritual. The moon can't get any more right. Are you ready? Are you? I'm prepared as I can be. And I'll have some additional help. Who? Agatha asked me to recruit a few of the others. Who did you recruit? How many people will be joining us? All the Midnight Suns, Doctor Strange, and Logan overheard me talking with Nico and decided to come along. <laughs> he believed you? He said, I've seen weirder stuff in my day. But he used another word for stuff. How did you convince everyone? It is hard to believe everyone just agreed to this. Agatha had me tell them what only she could have known. Except Strange. He came without question. He had a twinkle in his eye. As though he already knew. Let's not keep them waiting. We should go. I'll lead the way. Sarah. Everybody wants to chat. Let's chat with everybody first and then Wanda. Start with Robbie. Hey, Hunter. Thanks for doing, uh, all of this. Do you know what we are doing? No idea. <laughs> so why are you here? Why else? To support you and Wanda. Oh, and Agatha too. Thanks, Robbie. <coughs> of course. When Agatha's back, she'll want to see some familiar faces. Happy to be one of them. All right. <clears throat> Let's talk to Nico. So, I'm a little pissed at you. I could not tell anyone about Agatha. Uh, not that. Here, I was thinking you and Wanda were going to be a thing, but no, that was all a ruse. <laughs> Anything is possible. We're about to restore the spirit of Agatha Harkness, so I guess you're right. So here we are. I cannot wait to see Agatha again, and for Wanda to bring her back. She told me she could never have done this without you. Once again, you help Wanda restore herself. You are good for her. Not everyone has that when the world around you is bleak. Thanks, Magic. What are friends for? That was not rhetorical. Sometimes I wonder. <laughs> okay, big group over here. Blade. Don't know how this is possible, but I'm not surprised. Why not? You and Wanda working together. What can't you do? That's not an expression. If I wake up tomorrow and there's a second moon in the sky, I'll assume it has something to do with you two. <laughs> ah, Hunter. My anticipation for this moment was boundless. You knew about her ghost? I sensed her energy. And I knew she wasn't a hostile spirit. Why did you not say anything? I could always trust Agatha to have an elaborate plan. I surmised she would enact it when necessary. And so she has. Keeping secrets, eh? <laughs> That's Agatha for you. Between you and me. I knew she wasn't really gone. How so? Agatha always had a backup plan. I used to say she could cheat death at cards. Never thought I'd be right. <laughs> Alright, and over here to Agatha. This is it. Hunter, 
I never asked. Are you all right with this? <coughs> actually sound like really positive things this one I don't really want to do but I'll say as much as I can be I know it is what you want but this might be the last time we speak I thought the last time we'd ever speak was three centuries ago a chance to spend time with you again I am so lucky and so proud if this doesn't work please don't let Sarah know she shouldn't have to lose me again I understand. But it will work. Wanda knows what she's doing. I believe in her. In all of you. Besides, I'm Agatha Harkness. The world won't be rid of me till I'm ready to go. I'm guessing uh, Sarah will show up partway through this or just before it starts or something. Everyone's here. We're almost ready to begin. What else do we need? The braziers indicate the ritual boundary. Once you light them, we can begin. Why braziers? What do they have to do with the ritual? They mark the ritual space. As long as nothing crosses the boundary, we should be fine. And if something goes wrong, we'll be fine. They'll contain whatever goes wrong. Sounds good. I will be right back. So, light the braziers. Yep, light the torches. Fires are lit. Any last words before we begin? Once we start, there's no going back. I'm ready. Let us begin. What do you need me to do? Stand back and make sure nothing disturbs us. The Grey Seneschal is a finicky ritual. Agatha Harkness, can you hear me? I can. The Grey Seneschal extends a hand. Shall you take it, knowing it may lead to your destruction? I shall. Do you willingly sever your bond to this world, knowing it may lead to your dissolution? I do. And will you open yourself to the Grey Seneschal, knowing it may lead to your possession? I will. Spoken, witnessed, and sealed. I can, I will now begin. Steady, Wanda. I call upon the Grey Seneschal. Seize the spirit of Agatha Harkness and deliver her into this world. It's her. Oh, I can see her. I can see Agatha. I knew it. Sarah, wait. She did not want you to find out like this. How are you here? I couldn't find a keepsake. A simple spell said it was here. The locket. Wanda stole it. I nearly caught her outside my room, didn't I?
I took the locket. Wanda was the lookout. I am the one who stole it. Why would you do that to me? Agatha asked me to. Asked? Why would you pull her back from her final rest? You should know better. Sarah, she never left the Abbey. She's been here for months. Then what are you? The Grey Seneschal. I won't let you do this to her. Sarah, wait! Wanda won't destroy her again. Sarah, no! What have you done to her? Nothing worse than what you've done, Sarah. Agatha? You were the worst thing to happen to me. Oh, how I loathed our time together. It took death to finally free me of your insipid- This isn't Agatha. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Hello, sweetling. Mephisto. Release Agatha. We have no quarrel with you. I have quarrel with him. You want me to simply give you this withered Ecto puppet? Come now. Someone must know how this works. It's always the same with you. The devil is here, and he's ready to bargain. Ah, the hairy little creature remembers how it works. No bargains. Release Agatha right now. No, no, no. I'm willing to make a simple trade. Give me Iliana. And you can have this faded rag of spirit. No. No bargains. Then I'll destroy her and leave. Do not touch her. I thought you were the true power here. But if you have no hold over the Queen of Limbo, you're as useless to me as this wizened phantasm. Wait. I will speak with Ileana. Good, good. But don't take too long. If you delay, I'll <clears throat> melt this shriveled spirit. There is little to say. Ileana, I am just stalling for... Shush. There is little to say because I know how to push him out. What is the plan? If I banish him directly, he takes her with him. But if I channel my power through someone close to Agatha... Wham! Sucker punch! He loses control, I banish him, and Agatha stays behind. Then why have you not done it already? Channeling my power through a person causes lasting injury. I do not know who should bear this suffering. only offer myself. Hunter, this is quite dangerous. Are you certain? To save Agatha, defy the devil, and keep you from his clutches? Of course I am certain. You are a fool. But you are the best fool I know. Give me the signal when you're ready. Enough deliberations. Do we have a bomb? Magic. What do we say to the devil? We say... The devil can go to hell! Agatha? Sarah, you can hear me? And see you. What, no kiss? <laughs> and that's how I know it's you. What you've done here, to bring everyone together, it's... It's not enough. I've never been more delighted to tell you how wrong you are. This is so much better than we'd expected. We just need to finish it. We? Does that mean you'll stay and help? You thought I did all this to say goodbye? Oh, Sarah, you're hopeless. Not anymore. Look at that. Hunter, would you mind walking with me? They deserve some privacy. 
Indeed. Agatha's back. Ooh. It worked. Severe injury. We make a good team. We do well together. I was thinking the same thing. So what now? We should let them catch up. Agreed. See you tomorrow. I'm going to bed and don't plan to set an alarm. Magic level up. <clears throat> Looks like quite a few people want to chat. The hunter has severe injury. We're going to pet Ebony again. Do not transform on me now. Ebony's a good kitty. We don't see Ebony that much. Ebony's not as good as Charlie, but Ebony's a good kitty. All right. Chat, let's go see what Wolvie has to say. Don't worry, I won't go saying you're good or nothing. Next time, direct the damage to the guy with the healing factor. <laughs> you kids actually did it. Agatha's back. This place already feels more lively. <coughs> so to speak. I just keep going over it again and again in my head. But it still doesn't make sense. I have to say it, but you probably won't ever make sense of it. Bad guys do bad things. Rumlow brought me halfway around the world. Uh, we already heard of that conversation. Just wanted me to see him die. If you're gonna go, go big, I guess. All right, Doc wants to talk. Hunter, you took that dark energy like a stone cold golem, but you left Mephisto alive. And all is as it should be. Miss Maximoff acquitted herself with aplomb, as did you and Miss Rasputin. Are you concerned about Mephisto? <laughs> no more than any other day. <laughs> right. Agatha wants to chat. Cap wants to chat. Let's go chat with Agatha. You and Magic deftly handled Mephisto. I dare say Steve would approve. <laughs> I dare say Steve would approve. A good leader always endures for the sake of others. Please do not take such a risk again, especially considering the condition of your collar. I can't thank you enough, and I'm certain I will over the coming days. But right now, do you mind terribly if I catch up with the love of my life? And afterlife. Don't make me haunt you. <laughs> All right, let's go chat with Steve. And then there's the data drive. Is that what this is really all about? Am I being played? I think you're just spinning your wheels at this point, Cap. I could say the same thing to you, Tony. Still planning your revenge on Banner? I'm not trying to get revenge on anyone. I'm just trying to get him back. Get him back, or get back at him? Oh, I see what you did there. Look, I think we both need some sleep. I'm a little out of sorts at the moment, Hunter. I hope that punching this bag will help clear my head. You know, this Rumlow thing has really thrown me for a loop. I didn't expect that. His death seemed calculated. Your instincts are correct. Crossbones summoned you there for a reason. You were manipulated. Whether for good or ill intent remains to be seen. Rumlow's no boy scout. He didn't give the data drive just to be nice. 
But then again, he seems to understand the threat Lilith poses. If you need to talk things through... I'm a little talked out to tell you the truth. I think I just need to keep punching until my head clears up. And how long do you think that will take? Until I run out of punches. Just breathe. Keep it steady. Alright, everybody's done chatting. Well, technically you're not the first zombie I've worked with, but you are the best. Ha! <laughs> Nobody wants to do a hangout, so let's go to bed. See if we have any dreams. No dream. New posts. miss this. Tonight is the night. Everything is ready. I'm waiting by Agatha's shrine. This is the ritual. I mean, the Grey Seneschal ritual. So that the others can see Agatha. I'm sorry, I never got the hang of texting. I'll try it again. <laughs> Meet me at Agatha's shrine so we can perform the Grey Ritual. Alright, I'll be right there. Not right now. Still need to get the uh, um, stuff we need. All right, Robbie. Hey, Tony Stark. Can we get Agatha an account on Superlink? I have a backlog of dank memes I need to send her. Robbie, that's not really possible. Ah, uh, come on, man. It'd mean a lot. I suppose a memorial account wouldn't be too much trouble. Yeah, memorial. I'm sure she'll see them in spirit. Ha! Good one, Tony. Okay, then. Post is restricted from Steve Rogers. Tony, what's up with Steve? He's really out of sorts. You know how it is when you have history with someone? They can really get under your skin. Is there anything we can do? I rarely see him like this, so no clue. I feel we should be doing something to help out. I have no idea. The two of us can hang out within his earshot. And what, just talk? Yeah, a normal conversation. I'm sure we can manage one of those. Actually, I'd like that. All right. Let's go give Captain America an object lesson. If the two of us can work through our thing, he can definitely work through his. Yeah, those two don't seem to get along too well, so I guess this would be good. Alright, now... Looks like Wanda wants to chat. They put her in shackles and dragged her to the courthouse. They were going to take the torch to her, or the noose. But Agatha's not the kind of witch that would let herself burn. No, she's not. So, how did she get out of being another victim of the wild imaginations of superstitious villagers? She stood obstinately, brows furrowed, and declared, Who do you think you are to accuse Agatha Harkness of being a witch? She denied being a witch? Sarah's giving you the polite version. <laughs> Agatha wasn't stingy with her profanity. I think she even made the judge cry. So she, uh, cursed her way out of it. More like hexed. When she left the courthouse that day, I believe most of the local magistrates were toads. I'm pretty sure they were always toads. As I remember it, the charges were dropped against her because she had one hell of a good lawyer. Threatened to sue him if they dared to put another witch on trial. And they never did. So grab this 
dot over Note here. for next time, if anyone else has any open grievances with demonic entities, please speak up before the seance. Ileana. Ha, <laughs> dum No matter what, Agatha's return feels like a good omen. There we go. Hey, can I ask a favor? Discover something interesting on the Abbey grounds with Charlie. Yeah, sure, we'll accept it. I don't know if Thanks, we're Hunter. Get, get through with it, but. Okay, not live ghost, obviously, but I should probably stop by and introduce myself. Remember last night when we totally sent that devil back to hell? <laughs> Good times. Dot collecting. Let's see Back what again. We, got. we can upgrade here. Carol. Don't stress it too much. There's no wrong answers here. That's a good upgrade. Let's do that. This will make a difference. Nico and Doctor Strange. Can't spar with Nico or with Doc Strange, so let's go ahead and spar with Wanda. I mean, she's already got a thingy, but. Evil doesn't take time off. Neither should we. Do your thing. favorite transient holiday is today. Does anyone feel like taking part in the festival? I'm always down for some holiday cheer. A traditional version includes a week-long ceremony, heaps of food, and being passively judged by your relatives. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I enjoy getting the stink eye from my elders as much as the next gal, but maybe we can try the quick and dirty version? Well, the most important part is to bless your loved ones with what you wish they had more of in the coming year. Like a birthday wish, but in reverse. Sweet! Anyone want to start? May we have more of each other's friendship. That's too wholesome for me. I'll second your blessing. Not you too. Don't fight it, Ileana. Okay, fine. Having you all by my side is all right. I guess. <laughs> that was pretty good. Alright, what's in the gift shop? Hmm. What do we have today? Phone, Avengers 4, let's go ahead and purchase that. It's legendary. Is there a dot down there? No. There's a weird feeling around the Abbey today. Something of concern? I can check to see if any curses have been invoked. No, it's not a bad feeling. Did you catch Sarah out there? She was actually smiling, making small talk. It was like she'd become a different person. People are allowed to be in a good mood sometimes, Tony. <laughs> I guess. At least someone's having a good time. 
the sons deserve a moment of happiness, they face nightmare after nightmare. And they're not finished. Speaking of nightmares, I've still got to figure out what to do about Banner. Who knows? Maybe one day it can be us hanging out with Banner, smiling and swapping stories. Hey, that would be great. I've got some great stories. Better than yours. It's not a competition, Tony. Got more coil for me? Good. I needed something to do. Alright, let's see what we get. Sometimes I even impress myself. I feel like I could automate this process and take myself out of the loop here. Shield bash. Let's redraw shield bash. Wild strike. Um, let's go with air superiority and spray. Always a pleasure. Hunter. Beginning decryption sequence. Really good intel here. We've got a lot to go on. Werewolf by day. A city that never sleeps. Send someone out on a mission. Ready for some hero work? Well, Werewolf by day is over there, and Captain Marvel needs to go on it. Mockingbird left a message. A bizarre case crossed my desk, and naturally I thought of you. The police picked up a man in the middle of the night who they thought was under the influence, snarling, spitting, the usual. They tossed him in a holding cell to sleep it off, and the next morning found a night. If I had time, I'd take care of these myself, man. but I have been accused of hogging the ball before. He claimed his name was Jack Russell and asked to make one phone call. Shield. Transfer, oh, S.H.I.E.L.D. transferred him to a special facility for observation. Maybe this guy knows your mother of demons. Send a hero to join Mockingbird in her questioning of Russell. And we'll get an epic ability if we send Captain Marvel. So let's send Captain Marvel. I think I, I can handle that. Oh, no, it's not our only option. But Too low of level. Well... Pick your target, one. Hunter. We'll do this one because. See, it never sleeps. Hydra continues to. What do we got? Level 22 was this one, I think. No, this is level 24 as well. Okay, see, that never sleeps. Hydra continues to rear its head throughout New York City. They are less likely. To cause trouble when heroes regularly patrol the borough. Sending your friends out to fight isn't the easiest choice, but we all know what we signed up for. Send a hero to make the rounds and stop Hydra troublemakers. Okay. Let's send Nico. Lucky you caught me in a good mood. Stay out of trouble. So we screwed up on this one. This should keep someone busy. So 
this she's required. It says level 22. I don't know why it said she was too low level. Oh, well. See Thanks you soon. we're doing both of them. Instead of just one of them. Hunter, I'm glad you could make it. I've got something disturbing to show you. Well, I don't like the sound of that. I spent some time decrypting the data drive Crossbones gave to Cap. I hope it gave us good information on Hydra. He gave us good intelligence, all right. But it's not about Hydra. It's about us. Take a look. He had files on all of us. Cap, me, Stark, Blade, Magic, Nico, everyone. Strengths, weaknesses. Mostly weaknesses. Now we know what we need to work on. We can use this information to fix our deficiencies. Whatever he viewed as a weakness, we can make into a strength. I like the way you think. Now I just need to convince Cap that distributing these files to the team is a good idea. This isn't even all of it. There's a whole other section, but I can't access it. More encryption. Multiple layers of it. I could probably get it, but it'll take me a while. Cap could make this go a lot quicker. Where is he? I am surprised he is not going over these files with you. He was with me when we first unlocked the drive. He was already agitated from Crossbones' death, but I think seeing what he had on us really set him off. He excused himself in a hurry. Now I need him back. Uh, don't worry, I'll get him back. I will find him and convince him to come back. You do not have to worry about that. I have no doubt you can be most persuasive when you want to be, Hunter. Was there anything about me on that drive? Strangely, no. Not a word. Odd. I'll keep trying to break this code while you find Cap. Okay, where's Cap? Outside. Okay, right, let's finish looking for dots. Then we'll go on the go outside run. Talk to Cap. Run. There he is. Hunter, got any concerns? Steve, Carol needs your help decrypting Crossbones files. <laughs> It figures she'd send you. Did she tell you I want nothing to do with it? Because I still don't. I understand. Take your time. Those files he had on the team are disturbing. If you need to take a moment... That's not why I left. It was something Crossbones said. The old man. He was talking about my greatest enemy. Who? The Red Skull commanded Hydra during the war. Obsessed with the occult. You think the Red Skull has something to do with those files? I'm certain. One file is called Project Gutmorder. A classic name for a Red Skull terror weapon. Rumlow wants... Wanted me to use the tools of my oldest enemy to defeat the newest. I won't give him the satisfaction. Crossbones threw you a lifeline. You were looking at this the wrong way. How do you think I should see it? Crossbones made a point of drawing you to him. Then he found a way to get close to you. In the end, he turned on Lilith. He gave those files to the only person he could trust to put them to good use. That's an interesting theory, but I won't give Rumlow the benefit <laughs> of the doubt. That is not your call to make. You helped put me in charge. Now trust me to do my job. Well, I guess you have been paying attention. <laughs> the enemy of my enemy is my friend, huh? <sighs> I'll talk to Carol and do what I can. Thanks for helping me work through this, Hunter. Of course. Go look at the mission table. Oh, 
that story mission. Carol's out and about. Artifact. Nico's out and about. Credits. Essences. Is, 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 is. We need heroic essences. And blueprints. Huh? Let's get some essence, because we need some heroic essence, because we we're blindingly low on those. Hold on. Well, I guess I guess I can't go in there, because then I couldn't run around. All right. So we always got Deadpool. <laughs> We're severely injured, so we can't take us three days to recover. Ah, that's terrible. All right, let's send Blade. a bit before we can go out again. It's too bad it wouldn't let us go into the pool. Beat all enemies. Show them what happens when you mess with the Midnight Suns. We read you. All right. Uh, uh, 170. 70, uh, uh, 350. Oh, that's one of those summoner people. I hate those ones. Alright, first things first. I'm a craftsman. Alright, let's shoot this guy. That guy. Allow me. About time. Boom, head That's gonna leave a mark. Get all three of these guys. Time to bleed. We need to hang out for it. We're like two peas in a pod. And tactician for some block. Someone order a sandwich. They're not going to like this. Looks like they call for help. 
guy got stuck. There he is. She just do. He seemed pretty mad, so I guess you're doing okay. Oh, she turned a guy into a thing. Oh, that was a lot worse than I thought she was going to do. That's a neat trick. Seems got four hundred hit points. To me, like they just missed their mama. And then let's have Cap finish off. Time's going in. Seem to lose them. You brought this on yourself. I doubt they'll take that beating to heart, but we can always hope. That was quick and efficient. How do we only get two stars for that? <laughs> oh well. time. Caretaker wants to chat. Let's go see what the caretaker has to say. Yes, she's in the chapel. It's been so long since I've prayed. I'm afraid I forgot how. Maybe you can help me find my way a little better? It has been a while since I have seen you here, Sarah. I guess when you live forever, places of worship take on a different significance. It doesn't seem so important to turn to a high power when you're not faced with the inevitability of death. But now, death, to even us immortals, is becoming an inescapable inevitability. So here I am, asking for guidance. 
but the Elder Gods are long gone. Only whispers of their power remain. So, I've been sitting here quietly, trying to listen to whatever advice they have to offer. If any. They'd want you to have faith. They would want you to have faith that we can get through this. What? Like wait for a miracle? No, Hunter, that will not do. Sometimes I think you rely too much on the powers of light your ancestors gifted you. But what we need right now is swift action. Perhaps I should be asking Agatha. She would know better than I on what to do. Her spirit has only made herself known for one night, and she's already done more to heal the wounds of this team than I have in six months. She's been here longer than that. Agatha has been here in spirit longer than that. She has? Hunter, how long has she been here? Since the night I was resurrected. And you didn't tell me. Why? She wasn't ready to make herself known. Agatha was not ready to make herself known to you. Ah, huh. so you were keeping her confidence? I was. I know she wanted to reach out to you, and I am glad she finally found a way. Well, I'm glad she did. She has been missed. Missed beyond measure. If we survive, I hope to learn more soft skills from her. <laughs> she was always the more maternal one out of the two of us. I will not argue with you there. <laughs> well, I should leave you to your prayers. Let's hope someone answers them. Thank you, Hunter, but I'd like to be left alone to my thoughts now. All right. Dot time. How can I help? Friend hey! Shipped up. Hunter. Next job I take has got to be on a boat. International water means no rules. Let's do cap. Time flies when you're fighting demons. Hardly feels like two months have passed. Um... Cards? Fire. I'm not a video game player to my knowledge, but... Something on your mind? You seem distant. I am thinking about how best to lead the team. It creeps up on you, doesn't it? I don't think I asked. How do you feel about being in charge? <laughs> Terrified. I do not easily frighten, but being responsible for so many unsettles me. Don't worry. 
That goes away. How long until it does? Depends on the person. Took me a few months. Wonderful. It's a good sign you're worried. <laughs> it means you want to do it right. Is there anything I am missing or that I should be doing? I'm happy to give you advice, but you don't need me to tell you how to run this. You're already making the right calls. How can I inspire the team? I need to figure out how to inspire my team. There's no easy answer. But from where I'm sitting, you're already an inspiration. You lead by example, and we respect that. How can I focus on that? The more you get to know your people, the more they'll trust the calls you need to make. That is it? That's a large part of it. Keep putting in the time and they'll surprise you. All right, let's see, nope. Nope. Probably. That was fun, Hunter. Love the activity, love the gift. All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. With that, I'll head to bed, and let's go ahead and call it here. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. As always, like, subscribe, and comment. I appreciate that as well. I have been Sir Joseph. You guys are always amazing. Until next time, stay safe out there, and I'll talk to you later.